friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we are doing our last full-time income money for the month of February. So this is the last bit of money for from my full-time job for this month, and we are going to start divvying it up. It is always $750. I am salaried, so it always stays the same. So let's give it a count, make sure it's all here. We have one, two, 300, 50, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 700, 705, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 750. So it's all here and we are going to get started with my bills as we do because we got to pay the bills and this should finish up saving for bills for the month of March. I'm one month ahead on my bills. So rent is getting $210. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, eight twenty, or eight ten, eight twenty, eight thirty, and eight forty. And my win of the week is that my landlord wanted to up our rent um, 3% and they upped it 10% last year. So we got back to them and we're like, hey, can we keep it the same? Like, because we put a lot of money into the house and keeping it up and maintenance and things. Um, and we're saving for a wedding. So we kind of used all of that as our reasoning and they agreed to keep it the same for one more year. So you should always negotiate. Because if they said no, we would have probably resigned anyway. But I mean, we're really good tenants, so they might as well keep us. And then if they raise it next year, we're probably not going to argue because they gave us no increase this year. So, okay, we're adding 40 in utilities. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, and 160. So we're good to go for utilities for the month of March. My phone bill is 15, 10 and a five. So 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, which is what I'll pay on March one to my mom. It's still on the family phone bill. Apple is not getting anything because it is fully funded with 10. This was formerly for Hulu, but I found out through Verizon, my family has free Hulu. So I canceled my Hulu so I can use the free Verizon like Hulu um, promo. And I'm paying for Peacock now, so I'll just pull that out of this one. Insurances is getting 35, 20, 35, because it's like $106 now. So I wanted to make sure I had 110, which is what this should be. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100, 105, and 110. So that should cover me for March for insurance. And then Jim is getting its usual 45, 20, 45. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 65, 75, and 180. And Jim, I belong to two gyms. So that's why that is what it is. And then we are not stuffing anything else. So we should be fully funded for bills for March. Um, and then if any of my bills are over this amount, I pull from my buffer. So like February, we're getting charged for February's, um, or I guess January's bills in February. So I'll pull any overages from buffer. And then if I over saved, I'll add that money into buffer from my checking account, if that makes sense. Okay. So those are my bills all done. That was $345 in bills. And now... I'm moving on to my wallet. We are going to add $50 into eating out today, which I think I just did a 50. So I have 50, 70, 85. 85 and eating out. Which y'all know me, I don't pay with cash. I um, use card. So I haven't unstuffed this in a minute. So it's probably not that high. Although I haven't been eating out that much. Gas though I did get this morning, so this will definitely be drained a little bit. So 25 for gas. So I have 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 105. 
Usually I stop this at 100, but since I got gas today, I decided to stuff it. So 105 in gas. Groceries is empty and we are adding a $100 bill today for groceries. And then spending is empty and so is miscellaneous. So I'm just gonna fill in these totals. So spending is getting 10. And miscellaneous will get five. And that is my wallet all stuffed. This is a size A9, which I do sell in my store, or if you just want the envelopes, I sell just the envelopes. So that's my wallet. Now we are going to move on to my long-term spending, which is in my black binder. I do think I'm going to actually start using this bookmark. Oops. This bookmark was from Lily Budgets and I am gonna put it with my books, but it was a cute little um, decoration for a while. This is also from Lily Budgets. So clothes has 40 and Costco has 60. I know this because I just did um, a stuffing right before this. I'm filming back to back. Date night is not getting stuffed, but we do have $10 in date night. Drinks has $10. Fitness and wellness is getting 20, but I owe this on my credit card, so I'm just gonna put it off to the side. I'm paying off a debt. Um, I'm not actually in debt, I just stole from my checking account buffer, um, but I owe myself back like $900 for that. For some personal training I'm doing. Fun is getting five, five, 10, 15, 20. Gifts has 10 and we're skipping that today. Giving though is getting five. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, and 38. So 38 in giving. Haircuts is getting five. So I have 10 now in there. Household is also getting five. So now we have 20, 45, and 50 in household. And then planners is getting, you guessed it, a five. So now I have 10 in planners. And then self care is getting five. So I have 20, 45, and 50. That five has seen better days. 50 and self-care. Really, really, really want to save up for laser hair removal. I'm telling myself that so I'll prioritize this. Toiletries is getting that raggedy five. I'm getting to my raggedy fives in my stash. So I have $10 in toiletries. Volleyball has 50, so we're skipping that because it's not quite warm enough for volleyball yet. And then buffer is getting a five. So five, 10, 15, 20 in buffer which is where I max it out. And that was $60 today in long-term spending. Now we are moving on to savings. We are only stuffing one, it looks like, in my baby blue binder. Birthdays has 50, so I'm skipping that. And then y'all know the deal of what's in these envelopes. I feel like I say it all the time. So I'm going to skip that today. Um, but holidays is going to get five. And we are working on Mother's Day because Easter has $50. And Mother's Day is getting this five. So I have 10, 15, 25, 35, and 40. Mother's Day. And 50 in Easter. So I have 90 in holidays. Medical, I have 1,100. Rosie, I forget what she has. She has 100 in spending, 200, 250, 260, 265, 270 in emergency funds. So she has 370. Scooter has 250, I know that. 
and then Walk Away Fund has 6300 which I've kind of paused this for now just because of wedding savings, but the 300 is kind of driving me nuts. So if I get a tax refund, I'll probably put 200 in here just to make it a clean 6500 because I love fives and zeros. I don't like pretty much any other number. <laughs> okay, and then for the best part always is big blue. I don't know why I always move my calculator when I do big blue because I need it. Okay, car, which I haven't stuffed in a minute. Putting 20 into new car. I really need an oil change. We'll see when that gets done. But I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, and 240. Yes. 240 in new car plus 1,000 in repairs, 100 in oil change, 250 in deductible. 200 in registration and 1,000 in emergency fund. I have $2,790 in car, which is really good. Haven't had that much in a minute, knock on wood. I don't need anything to happen to my car because I don't want to do what, I don't want to deal with it. Okay, Christmas is getting 20. We're working on Colin, my fiance. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, and 150. Yeah, 150. In Christmas, I'm going to say 200 for Colin. Home is getting 15. First house has $1,000. Our first 1,000. Furniture has 500. Yard work is getting 5. So 10, 15, 25, and 30, which means I need to pay Colin. So I'm going to take that out. Um, but I'll add it in for today. 30 plus 100 in decor. And then home maintenance is getting 10. So I have 1, 2, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400, 410, 420, 430 in home maintenance. So plus 430 plus 200 in hosting. So I have 2,260, but really 2,230 because I just took out $30 to transfer to Colin for all the yard work expenses that he pays for. Once we combine finances, we'll stop doing that. But for now, that's the deal. Let's just count vacation because we're obviously not stuffing it. Um, I did buy some flights though to go visit my two best friends. So I will be pulling from this. But for now we have 500 in flights, 500 in lodging, 500 in transportation, 500 in food and drinks. And then spending, I have 150. So I have 2,150 for now. And then wedding. Why do I have fives left? I just have one five. Okay. So I'm at, oh, that's why I'm adding 50 for, from just for me. And then 45, which is for the hundred envelope challenge, which I don't even know why I'm still doing this because it seems silly, but I don't know. So that one is for the 45. So we're adding 95 today. So let's count this once we add the 95. We have 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 14,000, 10, or 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 900, 950, 15,000. Let's just write that down. And 51, 52, 53, 54, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 6. 80, 690, 695, 700, 705, and 710. So 15,710 dollars in wedding, which is awesome. The goal is um, basically to get to 20,000 as fast as possible and then we'll reevaluate our savings goals from there. And then we're gonna add $4 into the $1 challenge today in here. This is what we have saved so far. 
And I just got new iron-on vinyl in the mail. So I'm going to see if iron-on works on these pouches. And if it does, I will be adding that to the shop. So thank you so much for watching and for being here. Subscribe if you're not already because I'll do a giveaway when I hit 15,000 subscribers. And I'll catch you in my next one.